Surprisingly few of the people who showed up for the regular city council meeting were there about the Cox rate increase. Surprising because so many complain about their cable service. They are complaints of which top management is well aware. We know we have some problems in the areas of billing. We have some problems in the areas of our, our uh, phone uh, equipment. Not necessarily the phone equipment, but staffing of that phone equipment. And lastly, we have some problems in the area of repair dispatch service. Cox is asking for a 19% increase in charges for basic service and installation. Monthly bills would go to $8.95 for the standard fare, and the initial fee for hooking up would go to $25. Cox says the money is needed to improve service. One cable subscriber unhappy with her service would know just where to put that extra money. I'm Brenda Milling, and I'm just a housewife that has Cox cable and has had a lot of problems with Cox. It, it's just been one thing after another. Among those on the pro side, John Morrison, general manager of the PBS outlet in Norfolk, WHRO-TV. But the Cox cable system, in our judgment, as far as the educational interests are concerned of the Tidewater area, they have indeed been responsive, cooperative, and generous. This was the first public hearing for several of the councilmen and Mayor Lewis Jones, who presided over his very first council session. It was a quiet hearing, and that surprised many observers as well. In Virginia Beach, Howard Joffe, The Daily News.